On the previous parts, you have set up the models, the AppDB context file, and also the entity framework core, which are really important for an MVC application to work with data. Now it's time to add the controllers to your web application. And per definition, a controller is just a C -sharp class that is responsible for controlling the way that a user interacts with an MVC application. So we basically use controllers to handle the user requests. So when the user, for example, clicks on a button, there is a controller on the back end which will receive the request and also return a response. It is typical for MVC applications or web API applications to have controllers for each feature. Then inside the controllers, you would have methods or as we call them in the MVC actions, which would be used for different functionalities within a feature. So in our case, we are going to have a multiple feature and for each feature, we are going to create controllers. In the management side, which are the features that an admin user can see, the user will be able to work with movies. So the user will be able to create a movie, to delete a movie, to update a movie, or just display all movies. For that, we are going to have the movies controller. The same is true for the actors. So we're going to have an actors controller. We are going to have a producers controller and also a cinemas controller. Within our app, we are going to also have an account controller where the user can update the account details. Within the same app, we are going to also have the shopping related feature. So user is able to add items to a cart and the cart will be updated in real time. The user will be able to pay using a PayPal account, etc. For that, we're going to create two controllers. The first one is going to be the shopping controller and the orders controller for the order history. Now, we're not going to create all of these controllers at once. We are going to start with the first four main ones, which are the actors controller, the producers controller, the cinemas controller, and the movies controller. And then as we move forward with our course, we're going to add all the other features to our app. And each time we add a new feature, we are going to create the controller and the actions within that controller. So let us get started by creating the actors controller. 